In the last video, we talked about how to calculate sums directly if we know what the values of each term of the sequence are. We don't always know the values of each term of the sequence, though. So in this video, we're going to learn two ways to indirectly calculate sums. First is the linear property. It is the fact that constant multiples come out of sums, and sums can be split over addition and subtraction. As an example, Suppose that we know that the value of the sum from 1 to 50 of the a n's is 208, and we know that the value of the sum from 1 to 50 of the b n's is 72. Then what is the sum from 1 to 50 of the sequence 2 a n minus 3 b n? Well, we can exploit the linear property to separate the sum over the difference and pull out the constant multiples. This becomes 2 times the sum from 1 to 50 of the a n's minus 3 times the sum from 1 to 50 of the bn's. Notice that the upper and lower bounds of the sums have to match for this to work. Next, we know that the sum from 1 to 50 of the an's is 208, and that the sum from 1 to 50 of the bn's is 72. 2 times 208 is 416. 3 times 72 is 216, so the sum is equal to 200. Another useful property of sums is the recursive property. The recursive property basically says that we can shave off as many terms from the upper and lower ends of the sums as we like. Here's the idea. The sum from k to m of the ans is, remember, ak plus ak plus 1 plus dot 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 plus a m minus 1 plus a m. If I want to separate the a m term, I can do that by just regrouping the remaining terms of the sum. Or likewise, I can shave off the first term of the sum if I want to, and I can do that as many times as necessary. For an example, suppose that b sub 50 is equal to 11, b sub 51 is equal to negative 5, and the sum from 2 to 49 of the bk's is equal to 103. Suppose that I want to know the value of the sum from 2 to 51 of the bk's. Well, I can rewrite this as the sum from 2 to 49 of the bk's, which is the one that I know the value of, plus b50, plus b51. Now I substitute in the known values. The sum of the bk's is 103, b50 is 11, and b51 is negative 5. So, so the sum, in the end, turns out to be 109. 